Hello. So in the last videos, we've been building up towards array literals. And we say that an array, when created with the square brackets, that's a literal array. That's an array literal. I've also mentioned that the length of the array is equivalent to the number of elements which have been set. So if you don't set any element, the length of the array will be zero. So this is an example of an array that we saw in the last video. And this is how to declare an array literal. You give the array a name. And then you put the elements of the array within the square brackets. So let me come back to Scratchpad. And if I come into Scratchpad, I'll paste in this array that you already have, array of people. So we have this array of people and it has three elements. So we can check the length of the array and to check the length of the array, we can just use the name of the array, people dot length, length. Oh, length, people dot length. And then display, you see it has three elements. If you remove all the elements in the array, then we check for the length again, display, the length of the array is zero. So the length of the array is always set to the number of elements which are there. If, if we copy the same thing once again, then we check the length of the array, display, you'll see the length of the array is now six. So the length of the array is always set to the number of elements which are there. So we are also going to have a look at what happens if we have these extra commas in the next video. So let's continue on in the next video. We'll continue with more things about the array literal. So I'll see you in that video.